today we got a couple of <coughs> Planiceps catfish, firewood Sorobim ichthys Planiceps they're called it's Our third try, our first two tries were met with huge failure After several months they both batches of two or three started spinning and died last time we tried was about four years ago I want to say so this is our third try to see if whatever killed those other two batches have cleared from our system or not Acclimating them to our water, added a little bit of amalog too, just in case. Here are the cute little buttons, they're still stressed, when they come down their fins will be black, or almost black. We have thoroughly acclimated them over two hours. Careful not to subject them to a pH spike and not to have ammonia build up. I, I uh, put this divider in here, I think it should hold them in. I had two options, either this two or that one with the, with the netting. It'd be safer, but the food gets tends to get stuck in there, in, in, in the net. Um, so it's a uh, it's a judgment call, what is worse. They have such a big head, I hope they will not be able to get through that. Because there are two, two of them, so they're, I kind of misplaced them, one relative to the other, so the mesh size is smaller. And the pure Aiba have been freaking out, which I don't like. I mean, they were way too skittish, which reminds me of Capapretum, False Piraiba, that's their trait, being so skittish. I just put there and there, and they were freaking out, just hitting it, full speed, zooming there, hitting it again. It's pretty stupid. See what it did to his nose? To the upper jaw? Anyhow. We're gonna take a look at them a little later, see how they're doing. But so far, they look good. And they look to be about, let's say, three inches at least. Maybe three and a half, tip to tip. So that's nice. Extremely thin, of course, but this is their nature. Big flat head and elegant thin body. Hopefully they stay behind the divider and we'll soon check how hungry they are. About four hours later the two little guys are getting their colors back. Now they're more or less natural colors, not as pale, stressed as they were at the beginning. And this, they've been sitting in that corner for the last two, three hours, recuperating, hopefully getting their strength and confidence back. We'll keep watching. I'm just blocking the underneath the spaces so they don't escape there or don't poke. One of them was resting and his tail was poking out on the other side. So I didn't need that. So I put those things in there. One and a half days. I hope little guys have some appetite. I'm gonna try and give them some mullet flesh to see how they feel about it.
Yep, just care deathly of it. What's wrong? It's as if I dropped a bomb on them. guys well, I guess they're not ready to eat yet try again <laughs> <laughs> 